Welcome to Online Learning. My name is Osayo Yekachi, a math teacher. Today we'll be looking at the third law of solving inequality and how it's being applied. In inequality, when a negative quantity is multiplied to both sides of an inequality, both the right hand, hand side and the left hand side, the inequality remains the same or is true so long as the inequality sign changes. Inequality remains true when a negative quantity is multiplied or divided so long as the inequality sign is changed. Take for example, you have a number like 2 is less than is less than minus 5. Sorry, it's greater than minus 5. If 2 is greater than minus 5, I accept it is greater than minus 5. So, multiply both sides now by minus 2. 2 minus 2 times 2 is greater than minus 5 times minus 2. So this will give us minus 4 is greater than, this is 10. I wonder how you can do this, that minus 4 is greater than 10. I can't say so. This is wrong. Minus 4 cannot be greater than 10. At this point now, look at this. We are using greater than when you reach here, immediately you have multiplied by the negative number, you change the inequality immediately. It's less than minus 5 times minus 2. Minus 5 times minus 2. So this sign now has changed from greater than to less than. It has changed from greater than to less than. So at this point, you have minus 4 is less than 10. This is correct. You understand? So it also applied, it's also been applied when you are dividing. So let's take, um, let's take an example now. Just one example. If you are given 4x minus 7 is less than 9x, 9x plus, plus 8. If you are given this to solve an inequality, the first thing you will do is to collect like terms. And when you collect like terms, you have 4x. Remember what I told you, when a number is crossing either the inequality sign or equal sign, the sign it has will change. If it's positive, it will change to negative. And if it's negative, it will change to positive. So here is positive. This one will change to negative. You have minus 9x is less than this 7 now we cross the sign it will change to plus so you have 8 already there plus 7 so 4 minus 9 you are owing somebody 9 naira you have 4 naira what will remain it will remain minus 5 you are still owing the person so you have minus 5x is less than 
this will give me 15. So we have minus 5x is less than 15. Correct. So now, we want to find x. We are not looking for minus 5x. We want to find x. So that's where you apply the law. You divide both sides by minus 5. Since it has minus here, for you to remove this minus from this place, you, might, you divide by minus 5. So when you divide by minus 5, both sides you divide by minus 5. So you have minus 5x over minus 5 is, remember what I said, if you are just dividing, immediately you are straight dividing with the number, you change the sign, is greater than 15 divided by minus 5. So, minus we cancel minus, 5 we cancel 5, we are left with x is greater than 15 divided by minus 5 plus and minus, minus will remain. So you have minus 15 divided by 5 will give me 3. So x is greater than minus 3. That is how to apply the division law. Okay, we can also we can also look for a way, but let me do it in the next video. Yes. Let me do it in the next video so that you can understand it more. The next example we want to solve. See you there.